Hey, are you looking to upgrade your key life areas and evolve to a higher level of existence? To practically harness personal growth and spirituality in a crazy, busy, imperfect world? Then you've come to the right place. My name is Prash and this is Urban Spirituality, the show which uniquely fuses ancient wisdom with contemporary self-growth and spiritual disciplines to deliver value-added tools, traits, and insights to help you unleash your fullest potential. We always keep it real, featuring authentic, unfiltered dialogue with guests from diverse backgrounds to inspire, entertain, and enlighten all who listen. So get ready for your dose of urban spirituality. Be present and let's dive in. They say a highly trained mind can take you from where you are to where you desire to be. Einstein, Buddha, Socrates, and many other luminaries acknowledge the fact that your thoughts determine what you achieve and that you become what you think about. So here are five key ways of disciplining your mind to remain focused. Number one, the best way of disciplining your mind to remain focused is by understanding how the mind works. So you do a lot of damage to your goals and health by overworking and failing to take adequate breaks. That's why a clever fellow by the name of Francesco Cirillo developed the Pomodoro Technique, which states that the most effective way of getting things done is by working in shorter 25-minute intervals and taking five-minute breaks in between. See, applying the Pomodoro Technique in your life works because it agrees with the way your mind functions and focuses on what's best for the mind rather than the will. So retain your focus when working or studying by trying out the Pomodoro Technique. Okay, number two, start working without thinking about it. Okay, so this could be a controversial one. See, the only way of doing anything is by getting at it without thinking too much about it. If you spend too much time thinking about what you're supposed to do, you'll just come up with any valid excuses justifying what you can do, why you can do it later, and procrastination wins the day again. Hence, the only way to ensure you get traction on something is by jumping in to do the work without excessive thinking or emotionalizing about it. In fact, you're better off visualizing the desired outcome like top athletes do before events and then just getting that ball rolling as the momentum will then follow soon after. Okay, number three, control your environment. Your mind is influenced by external factors. No fresh news there. That's why tidying up your desk and working on an orderly environment is important. Clearing up your work area will have a positive impact on your work and it might just help you be easier to focus your mind. See, look, I understand that there are some distractions you can't avoid when working, especially when working from home, sharing space and resources with household members, etc. especially during these times. This is where coming up with effective ways of minimizing interruptions comes in. Listen, for example, tell everyone at home that you'll not be available for the next three hours or so if you have a home office. Or in the office, put on headphones and tell your coworkers that you're not going to be disturbed for a period of three hours, for example. Number four, set daily goals. I repeat, daily goals and plan to achieve them. See, it's great to have big, ambitious goals, but setting daily goals teaches your mind to engage in active thinking and avoids this idleness. Setting up daily goals will make it easier as well for your mind to nurture positive thoughts and constantly come up with solutions that actually work. See, disciplining your mind to repeatedly engage in critical thinking and remaining busy by having actionable plans that will enable you to achieve the goals you set. Okay, then of course, you've gotta remember to take regular breaks for cognitive, neural, and physical refresh before returning to the work rhythm. Do that and you'll soon be on the road to experiencing that much talked about flow state in whatever you're doing. Last but not least, I alluded to it, get enough rest. Listen, enough rest is so important. It's one of the most important things you can do to preserve your mental well-being. That's a fact. See, your mind can only be refreshed and replenished by getting enough rest, both active rest, such as unwinding through exercise, a good book, podcast, or some balanced TV watching. And of course, good quality sleep on a regular basis. So remember to prioritize rest as much as you do work. So there you have it. Five great ways of disciplining your mind 
to remain focused. Hey folks, thanks so much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And as with all our episodes, found something to inform, inspire and empower you in your personal and spiritual journeys in life. As always, feel free to leave a little love through your ratings and comments, subscribe and share it with those you care about. And take your personal and spiritual evolution to the next level by joining us on one of our unique events, workshops or retreats or taking advantage of our personal and professional coaching packages. Find out more about us at mantratherapy.co.uk. I'm your host, Prash K. This is Urban Spirituality and we will catch you on the next episode.